Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Morning Makeup. I am here at my in-laws house, so the background's a little bit different. We are visiting them for the weekend and I made sure to bring my camera and everything along with me because that's the whole point of my channel, for you guys to see five looks with one palette, but also see the different variations I can get throughout the week. So I did film this look today, this morning, it's Sunday morning, and I went to see the poppies. There's lots of poppies down in um, Lake Elsinore in California, and poppies are my favorite flowers. I love them so much. I just think they're beautiful, all varieties of poppies. And so I asked my friend if she would do a little photo shoot with me. Um, not me taking the photos, although that would be really awesome too, but um, to have photos of me with the poppies. <laughs> it was quite fun and um, I hope we got some great shots. I'm sure we did. She's a great photographer down in Temecula. So I'm very excited to see those. But I filmed myself getting ready yesterday early early morning because we went out. We met at 7 to make sure we were there before it got too crowded. And um, so I got ready in my uh, in-laws bathroom and so the lighting's not the greatest on that one but I did a very simple look and then today I also filmed myself getting ready doing this look. So I do have some thoughts about this palette. It's the Through My Eyes palette. I think I forgot to say I was so excited about explaining my background and the poppies. Um, Through My Eyes palette. Now I did not plan fully. I knew I was going to come down and do the pop, see the poppies and do the photo shoot. Uh, we weren't sure because it's been raining a lot in California if that would actually happen or not. Um, oddly enough, you know, I've kind of been trying to plan out my month and get, um, you know, plan out the palettes I'm going to do. I really chose this one because I wanted to do a green St. Patrick's Day look because this video will go live the week before St. Patrick's Day. So I thought that would be good, and I love the greens in this. But I thought it was kind of more of a, uh, it had both warm and cool tones in the palette, and it really doesn't. I'm looking at my eyes today, and you know, I, I had brought this shirt, this purpley striped shirt, uh, to wear today, and there's nothing in this palette that really is more on the cool side, more on the purple side. These colors right here, um, misbehave, oops, <laughs> misbehave, nostalgia, in a wink, sandalwood, they all look, this is messing with my lighting, they all look like they would be more on the cool tone side. Um, in palette, but when you actually swatch them and start to apply, that's nostalgia. Um, this is misbehave. They're very warm, which I just found to be so interesting because I thought it was a good combination, but when you really look at them, they're quite warm. So um, I'm going to have to figure out something else to wear because I feel like my eyes today... <laughs> Are very sunsetty eyes, but they don't match necessarily this um, pop purple top I brought. In fact, I'm gonna go change because it's kind of driving me a little nuts. I feel like I'm disconnected. I'll be right back. All right, a little more casual looking. I love this sweatshirt. It's so cozy. It's from Anthropology. It's like sweater material, but it's sweatshirt shape. There's no pockets, which is I keep wanting there to be a pocket, but it's one of my favorite things I bought for the winter and I just love it. I'll probably be more comfortable anyway because I think Temecula is a little cool today. Um, anyway, <laughs> so the palette is definitely uh, lends itself more towards the warm side of things. The colors, even the ones that appear kind of cool, are not really when applied. There's a lot of these beautiful oranges, yellows, corally colors, which I think is so much fun for spring. It was fun for my poppy photo shoot yesterday. Um, the greens in here are amazing. They are so beautiful. Um, I, gosh, this palette is fun and I kind of want to do another week with it to see what other looks I can get because I didn't um, fully play with everything. I think I tried to hit every color 
Um, but I, I think there's more I could do. So let me know if you want to see another week of the Through My Eyes palette. And here are my five looks. Okay, for the first look, I used In A Wink, and I just lightly applied it under my eyebrow, kind of setting a base for the look, putting it um, all over my eye, down towards the crease. I kind of wanted to see what the color looked like. I don't think it showed off that well on me. It's kind of light. The next color is sandalwood and I was actually surprised. This is where I first started to see that the palette is more warm than I originally thought it was because I thought sandalwood was a pretty light color, but it <laughs> worked as a great transition. Next was canela. It's a brown, but it has these really pretty gold flecks in it. Um, and so because the gold is kind of subtle, I thought it would still work in the crease, and it did. The gold almost kind of disappears. It's just a spray of gold. And then I used Flex, which is the name of the color. It's shimmery. It definitely has some glitter in it, um, but it applies really nicely. Super pigmented with great color payoff. And lastly, Muse went just kind of lightly in the inner corner towards the center, just giving a bit of a transition, some dimension to the look. And I always go back in and blend and clean up. And just a nice pretty neutral look for the first day. Day two, I really wanted to play with Wild Soul, the yellow color in the palette. So I started off pretty bold, using it as a transition shade from the crease up toward the eyebrow, um, blending it over and over and just dipping back into the pan to see how far I could take it. And then Nostalgia, sometimes is peachy looking to me and sometimes is more brown um, in the... In the pan, it really kind of looks brown, but then when I apply it, it ended up looking really peachy. And then I went back with some more Wild Soul because I felt like it needed a little um, more oomph. <laughs> and because I was already headed in this orange direction, I then took Euphoric, which is a matte orange color. Um, much brighter and deeper than Nostalgia, which is more toward the pink peach side. And I placed it over the eyelid. And of course, I couldn't help seeing what Mesmer Eyes looked like. It's another shimmery, um, glittery shade, but this time definitely on the orangey warm side. And I just put it over my eyelids. And then I felt like I needed a little subtle blending up under the brows. So I used Lucido, Lucido which is a shimmery shade. Okay, so on day three, I went in with sandalwood again. I knew I was going to be playing with the green colors. I was very excited to try them out. So I just wanted a light neutral shade as a transition, kind of as a little base. Um, I also wanted to see what Davina looked like, and I thought it would make a good crease color to go with the green. And I think it did, it was nice. It's not what I was expecting. Like I said, this palette tends towards the warm side, at least on me it does. And so um, Davina was just a little hard to get any real payoff. I think it worked because it ended up blending out nicely and it was light. And then the green, I really wanted to make it a bold color. So once again, I'm still working on this kind of cut crease, but also just wanted to put put a good base for the green. Um, I'm using Moody to start with, which is a matte green shade. It's a deep shade in pan, but you can see it's not very deep on the eyelid and it's patchy. There is no denying it. In fact, I got a little frustrated, so I stopped. I went back in to deepen up Davina to see if I could get that to pay off a little bit more. I think between the two, these two matte shades, the darkest shades in the palette, are just hard to work with. You can see I went back and forth a bunch of times. Now, I knew I was going to use Emerald Dream, the gold, I mean, sorry, the shimmery shade all along, and it just really worked um, to even everything out. It brightened up the green um, and turned out really nicely in the end. Um, I then <laughs> couldn't resist using a little of that Lucido shade 
And you will see here, I then made a mistake. So I started out with Luchido and <laughs> forgot, I don't know, ended up using Mesmerize and it turned into more of a <laughs> brighter gold than I wanted, but it, it ended up being all pulled together. I used the new ColourPop eyeliner. I have the blue one and the green one, and this blue is beautiful. And so I think I ended up with some really pretty peacock eyes, which I'm not sad about. I love peacocks. <laughs> Okay, day four, I let you guys choose the colors on Instagram and it's quite a simple um, look. I'm going with Nostalgia first as the transition, the peach shade, and then I applied a little bit of In a Wink under the eyebrows. It's kind of a pinky, light, neutral color, but on me, it just is a nice, simple highlight. And then Misbehave is the first color you guys chose. I use that as the crease color, I, I applied it pretty heavily. It's a beautiful pink. It's one of my favorites. And then I added a tiny bit of um, Davina just over the eyelid. I wanted to deepen up the second color you guys chose, which is Nocturne, a shimmery pink color, which is then what I applied over to kind of give the look its final hurrah. And I forgot to take a picture of that one. Okay, so... Day five was my poppy picture day and I am being super simple. I applied euphoric all over the lid and then I went in with a tiny bit of wild child, sorry, wild soul, just kind of giving as much of a neutral um, yet still kind of keeping with that poppy theme look. I went ahead and put euphoric then underneath my eye, blind and put on some lashes and that is it, very simple. And day six, um, kind of a very bold day. I went ahead and started again with Nostalgia. It's funny, I didn't think I liked this color at first, but then I think it's one of the ones I ended up using the most. It um, is a really pretty transition shade. And um, I wish I had tried it more on the eyelid and done other things with it. So that's kind of why I want to do a, a second video of this palette, just because there's so much to play with. Euphoric, that really pretty more orange matte shade, then went in as more the transition color. And Lomo is one I have not used at all this week. It is this shimmery, sparkly, um, orangey pink corally shade. I don't know how to describe it. It's really, really pretty. Um, it's definitely bold, so um, you have to want a vibrant eye look when you use it, I think. And then, as always, I just kind of go back and forth blending the colors I use, making sure they're nice and kind of even. Um, I can never resist a little extra shimmer, so there's Mesmerize again, just on the inner corner. And then putting um, Lomo underneath just to give a little bit more pop of color. All right, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video overall. I really do love this palette. Um, it's maybe a little more of an advanced palette. The colors are quite bold. Um, it's definitely not necessarily something I would recommend to people who just kind of like the basic neutral look. It's a little hard to get that look from the palette. Although, I don't think, the closest I got was yesterday. I tried to keep my eye look very simple for my poppy pictures. Um, and so that was probably as neutral you would get. But these, these colors here, you know, we have Lomo, Euphoric, Emerald Dream, Moody, Misbehave, Wild Soul, a really pretty yellow. It actually applies much lighter than it looks in the pan, which is nice. Um, they're all quite bold colors though. And so if you're not really into that kind of thing, you may not like this palette. But I really like my eyes today. As I was doing them, I was thinking, ooh, they're like sunset eyes. I popped on some lashes. I actually wore fake lashes three times this week, um, once to work, which I don't normally do, but I don't know. It, it just seemed with such colorful looks, you really get better payoff. I guess payoff is the word I'm looking for when you wear falsies. This little guy feels like he's popping up, so I'm going to have to fix him or something. Um, 
So, I don't know, I hope I'm not going down some crazy rabbit hole where I start wearing eyelashes all the time. Um, it definitely adds another, uh, you know, good amount of time to the make makeup application. And um, I found myself being a little late uh, getting out the door. So, I don't think it's something I'm going to, you know, do often. But when I have these more bold looks, I think the eyelashes really help. Um, just pull it all together. Anyway, um, that's it. I'm heading off to do a little bit of wine tasting and enjoy my Sunday. I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend, whatever you're doing, and have a lovely week coming up. If you like my channel, if you like what you saw here um, and want to see more Get Ready With Me Five Looks From One Palette, please subscribe. Go ahead and um, like this video. Give me some love and support. You can find me on Instagram at Bug and Bird Photography and over on Facebook as well. And then let me know in the comments what are some colors, bold colors you enjoy um, playing with. Or if you're more of a neutral girl, how bold do you go? What is your limit? I'd love to know. Let's have a conversation about makeup. And I will see you guys all next week with a brand new palette. Bye. I'm back. So I was fixing my eyelash because it was popping off and it just was like too far over. And so I took this one off and glued it back on and now I think it's perfect but here's my problem okay now this one is too far over but it's not coming off and it's not bothering you know sometimes if you place them too far they kind of bother you on the inner corner this one isn't bothering but it's not even can you guys see that Maybe you can't. <laughs> I can. And I know it's not even. So do I fix it? Or do I just let it go? What would you do? I don't know. Tell me. Alright. Bye guys.